everybody, this is SoyaChinchow.com and we're still at the HTC Evo 3D launch right here. Um, and just, uh, so we have the Evo 3D with us right now. And next to it is the LG Optimus 3D. So we're just gonna have a, a, a short comparison between the two devices. All right, so we'll talk about the hardware. Both devices are running 4.3 inches uh, screen. In terms of uh, processor, the, opt, uh, the Evo 3D is running a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor, uh, whereby the Optimus 3D is running a 1 gigahertz processor. Optimus has 512 meg of RAM, while the Evo has 1 gig of RAM. Uh, in terms of performance, yeah, the HTC is, is slightly faster, but uh, yeah, it's slightly faster. But I don't think it's really an issue uh, when you're when you're using the devices. Okay, so in terms of color reproduction, in terms of screen display, uh, it looks like uh, the LG is is uh, is tops. Um, it has better whites. It has better contrast. It has better color reproduction, as you can see. Uh, whereby the HTC, as you can see, it's. Uh, the white is not really, uh, it's not proper white, it's sort of like an off-white uh, color and the contrast is not really that good. Color reproduction is is not as good as the LG as well. Alright, okay, uh, it's interesting that the LG, the HTC has a better resolution but in terms of real life we find that uh, the LG is better. In terms of uh, uh, viewing angle, you can see just now that the HTC's viewing angle is not as good as the LG either. So looks like the LG trumps the HTC uh, in terms of display. Okay, so we're going to the optics of the device. Oh, um, also uh, with regards to, to 3D, uh, LG has uh, better 3D reproduction uh, in, in, in my opinion. Uh, I'm a bit hyper when it comes to Looking at 3D images, I get uh, headaches and eye aches quite easily when watching 3D pictures and 3D movies. So on the LG, I don't get that at all amazingly. Um, on the HTC, I get that re rather quickly. So um, I can say that the LG's 3D reproduction, 3D pictures, 3D images are better and more natural than the HTC's. Um, it might be an issue on my part. It might be an issue on the on the display. But um, if it were for if it were just for the 3D effect alone, I'd go for the LG. Okay, so let's take a look at the um, cameras. Just the back cameras right now. So both uh, both um, LG and HTC are running a dual five megapixel sensors. The difference, the, the major difference is that the HTC has dual LED flash while the, while the LD has, LG has just one single LED flash. Okay, what's interesting to note is that while both uh, cameras take 3D pictures, the LG shoots 3D pictures in uh, 3 megapixel while the HTC only does 3D pictures in 2 megapixel. But both shoot uh, video, 3D video in 720p. Okay, so yep, just going through uh, some of the major differences. You get this huge uh, dedicated camera button on the HEC, while on the LG, it's just a slim, uh, slender button over there. So it, it goes to show that the HEC is designed for taking pictures, primarily designed for that. Um, other than that, uh, oh yep, you don't get HDMI on the on the uh, on the HTC Evo, you just get a micro USB port there. On the LG, you get HDMI HDMI out. It's micro HDMI, by the way. Okay, and a micro USB. Right here. Um, okay, that's pretty much it. In terms of um, in terms of usability, again, we have to say Sense 3.0 is is lovely to use. Um, LG's interface, yeah, LG's UI is not as sophisticated as as the HTC, but the big difference here is that it has a specific 3D uh, menu. It's called the LG 3D Space, and this menu is rendered in 3D. You can't see it now, but and the 3D is again uh, very natural. I, I like it a lot. You know, I. I 
I see getting this um, phone if it were for the 3D. You get YouTube 3D, and again, you can see it's really smooth. You get 3D gallery. So this is a LG's demonstration of their 3G capability with having a 3G uh, menu, a dedicated 3D menu uh, on the LG Optimus 3D. Okay, again, when we're noting that that is not available on the HTC at all. Alright. Okay. Um, yeah, and uh, that's pretty much it. That's a short comparison between the two 3D powerhouses that's uh, already available in Malaysia. Well, the LG is not really available yet, but the HCC is already available. Uh, it's retailing for 2199 ringgit. Outright, uh, DG and Maxis will be coming out with uh, plans for the HCC Evo 3D. No word on availability and pricing on the LG Optimus 3D just yet. But it looks like um, if you're going for a 3D phone, um, first impressions, LG wins. Okay, that's, that's about it. This is uh, SoyaChincha.com and thanks for watching. Tune in to SoyaChincha.com for the latest local mobile tech news in Malaysia.